much, Mr. Chairman and Mr. James. Welcome. Um, I, uh, I think you're very qualified for this position and um, look forward to supporting you. Uh, as, a, as the chairman mentioned, this, your, your position is actually kind of at the intersection of really some key issues, infrastructure, but also DOD strategy, and that's why you're here on two committees, both of which I served on. You and I had a very good meeting, but I'm just going to be uh, straightforward here. I, I'm going to need some more definitive answers from the Department of Defense on some key issues that I'm concerned about that I'm not getting answers on before I'm going to... Uh, allow to move forward on a vote for you. They relate to an issue we've talked about, and it's the Arctic, and it's, a, it's strategic importance to the United States. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. It's more in your SASC, your armed services role versus the EPW, but there's an intersection here. In the last several years, we've had a huge buildup of Russia's Arctic capabilities. A new Arctic command, four new Arctic combat brigades, 14 operational airfields by the end of this year, 16 deep water ports, 50 airfields by 2020, a 30% increase in Russian special forces, 40 icebreakers, they're building 11 more, three of which are nuclear powered. And Mr. Chairman, if I can submit for the record this uh, map that shows all the Russian Arctic buildups. Without objection. And we've had US leaders Democrats and Republicans from Ash Carter to John McCain. He wrote an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal called The Real Arctic Threat. It's about the Russian buildup. Uh, if I can submit this for the record as well. Without objection. And the quotes from all Democratic and Republican senior leaders on the Arctic and what we need to do there. Without objection. One of the quotes was from Secretary Mattis. The Arctic is key strategic terrain. Russia is taking aggressive steps to increase its presence there. I will prioritize the development of an integrated strategy for the Arctic. I believe that our interest in security of the Arctic would benefit from increasing the focus of the Department of Defense. That's Secretary Mattis. Secretary Mabus, as the ice melts in the Arctic, our responsibilities clearly are going up. We don't have the capability we would like to have in the Arctic. I mean, it's, it's Democrat, Republican leader after leader has been focused and recognized this issue. And we're acting, the Congress is acting in the NDAA. We required a new Arctic strategy. In last year's NDAA, we required a focus from the Secretary of Defense and Homeland Security on a strategic Arctic port. But what happens when this goes over the bureaucracies, of which you'll be in charge, is the bureaucrats say, no, no, this isn't a good idea. We know what we're doing. We're going to blow off Congress. We're going to blow off all these leaders. Some of us were at the Reagan Defense Forum. I met with Secretary Schultz, George Schultz, very, very smart man. First thing he said to me is, Senator, what are we doing in the Arctic? How come we're not doing anything? We're getting our you know, lunch handed to us. Why aren't we doing anything? So here's my concern, Mr. James. And again, you've had nothing to do with this, but I need answers from the Department of Defense on this strategic Arctic port concept that we put in the NDAA. It's supposed to be a report. It's already late from the Secretary of Defense, Secretary of Homeland Security. We've heard about a draft report saying, you know what, that's a bad idea. We don't need any capabilities in the Arctic for the next 20 years. That's what the draft says. Well, I think it's ridiculous. You know what that would be like for an East Coast senator? It would be like saying the Port of Miami can cover Rhode Island and Delaware and Boston because the closest deep water port to all the Arctic activity is Dutch Harbor, a thousand miles away. So, and then, as it relates to the port of Nome, this is a project we've been trying to get going. You and I talked about it with the Corps of Engineers. They've been blowing us off, blowing us off, blowing us off. I finally had a good meeting with Lieutenant General Semonite yesterday, only because you're hearing today, I think, where they're finally starting to get the message but, Mr. James, I know you've had nothing to do with this. I think you're well qualified. But I'm going to need, no kidding, serious answers from the Department of Defense to get with the program that Congress and every other leader, Democrat and Republican, who's led the Department of Defense, saying we need to do something here. Quit delaying. Russia is eating our lunch. And we're doing nothing. 
so can I get your commitment to work with me? I'm going to need commitments from the Department of Defense before you move forward on your confirmation, but you're going to get confirmed because we'll get answers here. But can I get your commitment to work with me on these important issues that I think almost everybody here bipartisan support for, and yet the bureaucrats over at the Pentagon, in their infinite wisdom, which isn't always wise or infinite, believe that um, we shouldn't do anything. Can I get your commitment on that, sir? Absolutely, Senator. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I'm going to have a lot more questions for Mr. James for the record, but I appreciate you um, allowing me to go first here and uh, appreciate the committee working with me on these issues, which don't just benefit my state. These are national security issues for the United States of America, and we got people over the Pentagon who have their head in the sand, and it needs to stop. Thank you. I agree, sir, and, and I appreciated our meeting very much. Uh, and I have to say I was shocked when I discovered there was not a defense site in the Arctic region. There's nothing. Uh, nothing. I, I was shocked by that. So uh, I will, from whatever venue I can work, if I'm confirmed, I will work with you and your state. Uh, the Congress to, to see what uh, we can do about that. Thank you very much. I look forward also, to your Also, one more thing. If I, if I happen to, to come before this committee again, if I'm confirmed, after I'm confirmed, if I get to come before this committee again, I hope none of you put me in the, in the uh, definition of a bureaucrat. I don't intend to be. Good. Thank you very much. Senator.